What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lorraine. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and join in on all the fun. In today's video, I'm back with a makeup video. Now, I haven't done a makeup video in a minute just because, especially on YouTube, they don't do so well. Like, most of my makeup content doesn't do that well. So, I kind of just focus that content onto my TikTok and Instagram. By the way, follow me on there. <laughs> uh, but after one or two requests to do a tutorial on eyeliner and eyelash application I was like you know what let me get back into it so today I'm just gonna be doing my everyday go-to makeup and including a little bit of a tutorial when it comes to eyeliner and eyelash application so if you want to check out what's happening in this video stay tuned so as you can see I've already done my eyebrows uh, if you want an in-depth eyebrow tutorial, I will post it somewhere up here and you guys can check that out. So just to jump straight into it, when if you're a beginner and you're not really confident when it comes to you know your eye makeup, I suggest that you start with it first instead of your base because then if you have any issues or have any errors, you can just wipe them away instead of having your base and then having to wipe all of that away. So that's tip number one. Since I already have my eyebrows done, I'm going to just jump straight into the eyeliner part of this tutorial uh, but before I get there I always put like a brown eyeshadow on my eyelids just to make it look a bit more natural and also obviously to diffuse the concealer I put underneath my eyebrows it's like a brown shade like this like a natural color and I just like pretty much blend it into my eyelid I'm gonna grab an eyeliner pen because I feel like they're the easiest to use especially if you're a beginner there's just a lot more control and you know it's easier if you've made an error to just kind of like wipe it away so I'm gonna show you two methods of how to do your eyeliner and one's gonna involve tape and the other one's just gonna be freehanding one thing I'll advise when doing your eyeliner is to just start slow with slow deliberate movements because it's better to just go slow and add bit by bit rather than just do a whole like line and then it's like horrible and then now you have to start all over again. So adding less product is better than adding more product because at least with less product you have more control. So what I like to do is start with my wing. So I'll, I'll, zoom, I'll zoom you guys in a bit more. So what I like to do is start with my wing. Pretty happy with that then I'll like draw a line uh, around my eyelid just like that and then just connect the two see now you have a framework to work with right so I'm just gonna fill that in right So now we have a framework to work with, right? What I like to do now, because, you know, obviously it's not done, I'll close my eye and then just start at the tip right here and just... And then just fix any parts I feel like can look better. And then voila! And then you can always go back in and fix what you're not happy about, just with little like, like I said, little deliberate movements. Just fix what you think could look better. And then this is the beauty about doing your eye before your base makeup. If you, if there anything bleeds, if your eyeliner bleeds or you don't like how sharp it is, you can just fix it with your concealer or your foundation. So that's the first way to do it. Now you're gonna grab some tape, scissors, and just cut out a piece of tape. All you need is a piece this big, and then I kinda just tap it on my, the back of my hand to just get it a little bit less sticky so it doesn't stick on your face. And what you do is you kinda, however you want your eyeliner to sit, you kinda just do that. So something along those lines, right? Make sure it's solid then back in with the eyeliner pen I'll zoom you guys back in again Okay. 
this is usually the side where everything goes wrong so I'm hoping because I'm filming everything will go right it will go right it'll go right okay so now that you've placed the tape where you want your eyeliner to sit what you do is you start off by outlining your the shape of your eye right exactly like we did in the first step color it in if you want you could do this at the end too but I just kind of like like seeing where I'm going with it okay so now that you've done that you have the shape of your eye right now because you have this tape it's easier for you to get that sharp eyeliner cat eye look right and also less likely for you to make a mistake so what you do is kind of just go over the plastic or I mean the tape rather and just, just start drawing the tape is doing most of the work for you pretty much now because this is a tutorial these might not look exactly the same because I'm using two different methods but I just wanted you guys to have two options uh, when it comes to doing your eyeliner if this one didn't work for you maybe this one would be better suited so that's what we're looking like right <laughs> I'm just gonna fix up any issues that I'm like noticing real quickly yeah I think I'm happy with that make sure you always put the cap on because you never want to find your eyeliner like dried out and like the most satisfying feeling removing this tape and like that's what it looks like oh and they oh and they look the same yay it's a good eyeliner day it's a good eyeliner day and that's pretty much it that's what I can share with you when it comes to eyeliner I have other ones that if you have hooded eyes like me I have hooded eyes and I probably should have shown that one but I think this is the one that most people want to like learn about but if you have hooded eyes you should definitely check out the bat wing eyeliner um, method I will put it down below if I find a good tutorial I'll put it down below on how to do it that's the eyeliner part done so now usually I put on my eyelashes at the end of my makeup but for the purpose of this video I will do it right now just so you know you guys don't have to wait for the whole entire video before you get the, the tips so what I do is just I get some mascara and I just kind of coat my lashes Voila! Okay, now I recently started wearing eyelashes. I think I started wearing them in 2019 um, because I've, I always struggled putting them on. My main struggle is because my lashes are incredibly curly, like they curl into each other to the point where even when I get the individual, individual lash extensions professionally done, like they are stumped because it takes them longer to do me than it would the average client because of how curly they are so now you can imagine how difficult it is to put on strip lashes because they curl into each other and as you know with strip lashes you need to put it on top of the lash and blend it in so that's been like my major major struggle but I saw a tutorial by Vongai Vongai and I'll put her channel down below as well so you can check her out she's amazing South African youtuber and that tutorial helped me out a lot with my curly lashes so what she suggested you do is you take a mirror it can be any mirror this is my makeup mirror but you take it and you put it underneath so actually I'm getting way ahead of myself before I explain that uh, <laughs> let's get into the lashes themselves for demo purposes I'll, I'll show you these lashes so I have these very beautiful, dramatic, just avava voom lashes over here from Napol Neopoline Luxury. I'm, I'm butchering the name, but I will put it down below and have their store down in the description. But they're gorgeous. So when you first get a fresh pair of lashes, they usually won't be the size of your eye. So you need to kind of just measure it out. So you just put it on your eye and just measure what doesn't fit whatever doesn't fit you snip it off so and usually you snip off the end never snip off from the front snip off at the end 
right? So for example, this is the front of the lash and this is the back, I mean the inside of my eye. So if I put it on like this and I'm like, ooh, that's too big, I'm snipping off this side, not the side of my tear duct, right? I snip off that side. That's really important. That's why I'm emphasizing that much. Anyway, once you've done that and your lashes fit your eye, it's looking good, then you get glue. I just use generic glue, but I know um, everyone says a good glue is duo glue. But I just use this generic one I bought from Kohl's. What do you do is you put a thin layer, a thin layer on your lashes. Once you've put that thin layer onto your lashes, you're gonna wanna wait until it gets tacky. I've seen people complain that when they wear strip lashes, one eye looks lazy. And the reason why it looks lazy is because with strip lashes, you need to make sure that you're placing them on each eye exactly the same positions on each eye. So for example, if you're gonna place it from here to here, on this eye you have to do the, the, the most identical thing, like or close to identical, right? Otherwise, if you put one, this one in one position and this one in a different position, your eye is gonna look crazy. One eye is gonna look huge and one eye is gonna look small, hence the lazy eye. So the tip here is to get them almost exactly identical. It's difficult, but with practice, you, you'll get it. Okay, I think we're all good and tacky now. I'll zoom you guys in just so you can see what I'm doing. Like I said before, I take a mirror, I put it pretty much over here, so I just, I, so I can, you know, look down at it. And I take my strip lash, glues tacky. And what I do, go like this, look down in the mirror and kind of just gauge where I want to put it, right? My thing is that I always want the middle to stick first and then I'll wig, like I'll work with the ends and you know figure out where I want them to sit, right? So I just make sure that my lashes are not in the way, my natural ones. Okay, now that the middle is in, I'll take a tweezer and then just kind of put the ends where I want them to sit. I usually put this one at like higher just because I want the fox eye, you know, effect. So I don't really mind if there's a bit of a gap here at the end between my real lashes and the strip, the strip lashes just because I like the effect it gives my eye, but obviously you don't have to do that. And then I just kind of work and see what we're working with. And that's pretty much it. Usually I don't get it on the first try, like, don't worry if you have to do this over and over again, that happens to me all the time because, you know, especially if you want it to sit a specific way and you don't want any gaps between the strip lash and your natural lash, it's perfectly fine to do it over and over again until you get it correct. And obviously this does take practice, it took me a lot of practice, I mean, when I first started wearing them there was like gaps in between my lashes, but it is what it is, like you gotta start somewhere, right? And then I just kind of like, if you need to like move your strip lash and your natural lash together even more, you just use the tweezer to just kind of squeeze them together. And then I do the exact same thing with the other side. Now, and mirror. Just gonna push my eyelashes down a bit. Like I said, they're super curly so they get in the way. So what I like to do is... Wait, no. Ooh, did that work? I think that works. I think that works. And then let again take a tweezer. And then and strip lashes done. It looks weird because I don't have the rest of my makeup on, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. Look. <laughs> now I'm just gonna jump into the rest of my makeup. I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I usually use this when I'm shooting content because I like the way it looks on camera. I use the shade Deep Cool and obviously I'm running out.
Hey beauties, so we're almost at the final look. I just wanted to do my lip combo on screen for you guys because I am currently super in love with it. Wait, <laughs> the lip gloss is not even in here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, I wanted to do my lip combo on screen for you guys because I am currently super in love with it. So I line my lips with the MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. Probably have a mirror for this. Once that's done, I go in with the Neo Lone Luxurette Cocoa Lip Gloss. This lip gloss gives me life. Life, life, life. It's like the perfect brown. And it smells delicious. Sometimes I have to remind myself to stop applying because that's enough. <laughs> but it smells delightful. It goes on, it applies like a dream. The color is beautiful and it's long lasting. So that is the final look, people. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. Now, if you have any comments, please don't forget to leave them down in the comment section. All the products that I used in today's video will be in the description box. So go down there and check out any of the links and you'll find the products that I used today. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.